Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some things to talk about today with Road to the Final Price Movement. Some pretty crazy price movements today on foot with these Road to the Final cards. I want to talk about that and some new SBC code that has been added to the game with a guaranteed Winter Refresh player pack coming. Looks probably like it's going to be in an SBC format. We'll talk about that. That should be coming today because it's been put in the code tonight. So we'll talk about all these price movements today because uh, Champions League games and Europa League games are in full swing this week. And that means these cards are moving across the game. So of course, today's games in the Champions League, you guys don't need any reminding. This is what happened today in the Champions League. We had Atletico winning at home 1-0 against Liverpool. Dortmund winning at home 2-1 against PSG. So what that means is, all, all the Dortmund Road to the Final players and all of the Atletico Road to the Final players will get a plus one upgrade due to their winning the first round game in the round of 16. That's how it works for all of these uh, Road to the Final cards. So we'll talk about the two cards that are going to get upgraded and also some of the cards that crashed in value today because of those games that were played. And then we'll also look at today's games uh, or Wednesday's games with Tottenham and Leipzig and of course uh, Valencia and Atlanta. So let's look at a couple of these players. The players that were that we do have to look at from today that are getting upgrades for sure. We have Jaden Sancho and we have um, Thomas Partey. So this Jaden Sancho card is like 190,000 coins at the moment, I think. And I want to talk about this card because there's a lot we can learn from these market movements today. If you want to replicate what happened today with these cards and how they moved, you're going to be able to do the same thing um, on the games that are like Leipzig today with Spurs and also with the Valencia game because there's going to be some road to the finals in action again. So John and Sancho, about 200,000 coins right now. We're post game. He's guaranteed an upgrade. What's going to happen or what happened to this guy's price and what's going to happen in the next couple of days? So right now, Sancho is 198,000 coins. Last night, if we take a look at his graph, we're going to take a look at his graph. The prices for these cards are actually really similar between uh, Xbox and PlayStation, which makes sense um, just because they're they're live items and they're kind of valued the same by both markets. They're both really rare. So Sancho, last night or before the game, 180, 170,000 coins basically on both consoles. During the game, right before the game, he rises up a little. 188 PlayStation, 180 on Xbox. You'll see that heading into the games. And then boom, this is what happens. This doesn't give you the full... Uh, value of what actually happened to this card during the game. So, as you know, the scoreline was one, it, it was two to one Dortmund. But the way that this game played out, Dortmund scored first, right? So, this card went from about 190,000 coins flying up to 230. And that's when you want to be trading and selling with these guys, is when the goals happen. So, this card went from 190K to 230K. So, there was a flipping opportunity right there. One thing that you can do is when, to get notified when those goals are scored is to have an app on your phone called SofaScore or FlashScore notify you and set those notifications on so that you see when those goals happen right away so that you can hop on the companion app, hop on your console, wherever you're on the foot market, you can grab those cards and flip them because they rise right after that because people know, hey, they scored, they're possibly getting an upgrade or, you know, if they win the game, they're getting an upgrade. So that's the whole point and why these cards moved. But this card instantly flew up to 230,000 coins and that's the sell time, literally like two, three, four minutes after they score the goal. If you can buy right when they score and sell two or three, four minutes later, you're going to have a really nice increase in price. That's the safest way and the best way to do it. Because what happened after that was a few minutes later in the game, PSG scored a goal. So what you saw was this Sancho card actually went down a little bit um, because, you know, they equalized the game. And now, okay, the game is back in the balance. What's going to happen here? So Sancho, I think, was like back down to 200K flat-ish, maybe 210 or so, 200K, 210. And then they scored the second goal. Halan scored the second goal to go up two to one. He shot back up to like 220,000 coins. And now he's back down um, post-game hype around 199 200,000 coins. What's going to happen with this card? He's guaranteed an upgrade, but that upgrade isn't happening until like February 28th or February 29th because they wait to upgrade all of the cards until all of the first legs have been played in the Champions League and until both legs have been played in the Europa League. Now, Europa League plays back-to-back -back weeks, which Champions League does not, I'm aware, if I'm aware of that correctly. 
So leg one games are going to be finished, uh, as you can see here by the schedule. Leg one games are going to be finished on the 26th. So we'll probably expect these upgrades on the 28th, I would think, maybe the 29th. So after Europa League would finish their second leg, if that makes sense, right? So we're, we're looking, you know, we're like 10 to 11 days out for getting these cards actual upgrades. So there's going to be a, a bit of time in here where we're not going to see upgrades to these cards. Uh, Party is the other one that it's going to get upgraded because of their win over Liverpool today. And a lot of people were mistaken. They thought they had to win and actually go on and move on to get the upgrade. Well, Party, that is not the case with the, the Champions League live cards. The first round is an automatic upgrade if they win, if they outright win the game. Of course, today with, with Spurs, Leipzig, and Valencia, um, and Atlanta, if there's not an outright winner, if they draw, then nobody gets upgraded. So that's something to really, really think about. So this party was like 85,000 coins pre-game, now over 100,000 coins. I think, according to Footbin, that he was at one point today, um, the hourly graph, he went from like 80,000 coins. He was all the way at 120, 130,000 coins before he dropped back down to about 110. So you know, if you're watching these cards over the next week or so, this is going to be something to keep an eye on, especially with Sancho, in my opinion. We know these cards are getting upgrades. And of course, whatever happens with the other Champions League games that are coming in the next couple of days, just keep your eye on these cards because we know that they're getting an upgrade, right? So if there's ever any sort of panic selling on this market and people start panic selling these Sanchos or the party or whoever wins from today's games or from next week's leg one games, whatever outright winners we have, um, keep an eye on these cards because they are going to get upgraded and they probably, if they drop more, will rise back up into that hype towards like the end of February when they will get upgraded. So that's just a talking point for these. So we looked at Party and Sancho. Let's talk about some of the losers from today. Of course, Marquinhos, PSG, they lost. Marquinhos right now is 265,000 coins, which is kind of where he was uh, post game. We'll take a look at his graph really quick on Footbin because it's also very important to study the losing team's graph, right? Marquinhos is an interesting one because PSG is down two to one. They have an away goal because they scored an away goal, but they're down on aggregate two to one heading into a home game at their stadium where, you know, it's anybody's game for the PSG versus Liverpool leg two of the series, right? So Marquinhos is like 360 a uh, thousand coins this morning, 340. He's down basically 80 or 90,000 coins uh, from where he was this morning. I still think this card needs to drop down a little bit more, and I think it will over the next coming days, um, as people know that he's not getting an upgrade, but they also know that PSG is still in the game. So that's something that you can think about, right? They know that this card is, you know, PSG is probably still in it with Neymar, with Mbappe, with the star-studded talents that they have they still have a chance to come back on Dortmund and beat them in a second leg. So this is, again, that's that's the other angle to these Road to the Final cards that is pretty nuts and pretty insane is that, yes, one card can go up and get the upgrade, but the other cards, it's, they're not out of it. Exactly the example that I wanted to point out, I, I did yesterday as well in my, my video, was Road to the Final Jesse Lingard last year with United. What happened with United? They lost the first leg to PSG. But they came back and they won the second leg 3-1 to one to win on aggregate and to go on to the next round. Jesse Lingard's card went from 130,000 coins to 230,000 coins during that time frame because of the upgrade, because of the hype of the upset. The hype on these cards and the hype for Champions League controls so much on this market, and we're going to talk about some of that today as well. But just a thing to watch for. Watch the Marquinhos. Watch the Sancho and the Partey. And of course, there's a couple other cards. This Salah card moved today. These are not live items. I'm going to say this a lot of times. This card moved like 30,000 coins today. He's 360, 370 most of the time. I saw him at 330, 320. I picked a couple of them up at 325, and I got one to sell at 357 already to a nice little lazy buyer. So that was nice. Um, this Mane card today, he was like 1.2 this morning. He was under a million coins. He was 960. Um, a couple hours ago, it looks like he's chilling above a million now. Um, but that's a card. Obviously, Liverpool has a great chance to come back on Atleti as well, just because of what they're going to be playing at home. It's Liverpool. So that's going to be a card that I would expect to rise up into the hype for the next game of that Champions League matchup. Now, today's games. Who do we have in today's games on Wednesday? For some market movements. Now we have Hyunmin Sun, and there was an interesting scenario that happened with this card today because Hyunmin Sun actually uh, withstood an injury in their game against Villa 
on the weekend, and that affected his price a lot this morning. We're going to take a look at his price right now and then head over to Footbin to show you guys what happened. Sun right now is 1.6 million coins, but his price went for a ride today. Check this out. So this morning, nobody knew that Sun was injured. He picked up a fractured arm injury. He's going to have to have surgery. He's going to be out for a while. It sucks as a Spurs fan, especially. But this is still a live item that gets upgraded based on team performance and not individual performance. 1.6 mil this morning, all the way down to 1.355, then right back to 1.5, still now at 1.6. This card, if they win, if Spurs can somehow win today, this card will get upgraded. It's, again, not tied to individual performance. So that was a massive, I didn't see this uh, at the time, but that was a massive little panic that you could have picked up on and flipped that card uh, for some really good profit as he's right now back to 1.6 million coins. So just watch this card tomorrow. If they do end up losing, if Leipzig can win, I think the only road to the final from Leipzig is the Konate SBC. So if you guys did that SBC, then you're chilling. You could get an upgrade there. So watch the sun for market movements and then uh, Was as well. I think these are like the only two. Actually, there's two SBCs that could be affected. Is, is Daniel Was is not an SBC. Daniel Was and Hyomin Sun are the only two cards. Oh, and Yoris as well. Yoris, Was, and uh, Sun are the only cards that will be affected, I think, based on uh, the games that are played today. I don't think there's any other Valencia players. No, there's not. There's just Was, Sun, and um, Yoris that will be affected that are actually on the market players. Now we have uh, Papa Gomez's SBC. That was from Road to the Final Set 2. His SBC card could get upgraded if they win over Valencia. So that's something to watch out for. I think that's it then. Yeah, I think that is it from today's game. So this card's actually up a little bit already. He was 80,000 coins this morning, and now he's up to 88K. So I think people are really buying into the hype on this Wasp card. Again, uh, just see what happens, right? Just see what happens with um, what happens in the games. There's some goals scored early on. That could mean some market movements for this card and for others uh, that are a part of those games. So just watch those. It's going to be great, great fun to trade with in the game. Now, the other thing I want to talk about today is just Champions League games moving the market in general. Holland, what did he do today? He scored two goals and brought Real Madrid the win. He basically brought them to win today. This card was 270,000 coins today before he scored any goals, before they played. This was a 270,000 coin card. He's up 30,000 coins since the goals today. Take a look at this. He was 267 this morning on 240 at one point on the Xbox. Rose a little bit into the game, but right before game time, 269 on Xbox, 255, 255 Xbox, 269 PlayStation. He's now over 300K on both consoles, basically. A little undercut here on the Xbox, but over 300K on both consoles. So he's up like 30, 35,000 coins, literally, just because of it. this is not a live item. As we know, it's a team of the week card. But since he played good in real life, people like to see those players that play good in real life, they go and they buy them on the game of FIFA. It happens all the time, especially since this is a return of Champions League, hyped up times in FIFA right now um, with Champions League football back and live and in action for us to watch on this game. So that's what was today with the road of the final cards. Watch out for more market movements today. Hopefully we get some sort of UCL content too. We didn't get any UCL content today. Um, we got, we literally got nothing today for content. There were some server issues. Don't know if that impacted anything, but hopefully we get like a UCL marquee matchups or something along those lines. One thing that we could be getting today though, is this right here. And this is the pat code that was put into the code tonight by Footwatch on Twitter. R winter refresh player guarantees a winter refresh player. So looks like we could possibly getting a guaranteed winter refresh player SBC. And, you know, nine times out of 10, when they put these packs in the code, it is an SBC. So that's why I'm thinking these cards could be packable from SBCs. Now, a lot of them are down already, but if you have them still in your clubs, I would consider taking the money on them um, because they're going to drop some more. If it's a guaranteed, if it's if it's a repeatable as well, that's going to be huge. It's probably going to be untradeable, but if it's repeatable, that means people would have the chance to go out and do some of these. I think people would hit these upgrade SBCs, even if it's just a one-time thing. The opportunity that you have to pack Bruno Fernandez, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Christian Eriksen, Ake, Schultz, like Areola is a card a lot of people want to use and try out in this game too. This is an interesting set of players, and I think it's going to be one that people will do the upgrade SBCs for. 
if that SBC is the right price. So what could this SBC look like if they put it out? I'm thinking probably in the 83 or an 84 rated squad, maybe with an inform, hopefully not, because obviously the cards in this team aren't that amazing. They're just different, right? So hopefully like an 83 or an 84 rated requirement, no informs would be perfect for this upgrade SBC and make it repeatable, EA, please. Um, a lot of people have been talking about the prices on the market dropping. Why has that been happening? Well, in my opinion, the reason why the stuff on the market is dropping is because there's nothing to do in this game right now. Like, what are you going to do? The content for this winter refresh promo has been lackluster at best. There's just not a ton to do. And what do people do then? They do some SBCs, but ultimately they just kind of get bored and also leave the game as well. That's kind of what happens when we're at this stage in this time of the game when there's not much to do is people just kind of, they just sit down and they don't play FIFA. They go play COD or they go play Fortnite or they go play something else and they don't play FIFA. That's why you see some of the prices that you have been seeing is people are just not on the game. So that just is less demand, which means anybody who's trying to sell those cards lists lower to get them to actually sell. And that's why you see lowering prices. Of course, people are also investing in SBC fodder right now because they think the Neymar play of the month is coming, which it should be. They also think a mid icon SBC is coming which is hopefully is. And it looks like you have people still that are, that are maybe going out right now and investing for the possibility of the winter refresh SBC as well. So tons of stuff to talk about today. One last thing tonight, we got an upgrade to our storyline or was it a milestone player milestone La Liga. So evidently this Shoji guy was transferred to a Japanese club. So we have a new player in here for league on upgrade. It's Gabrielson. He's Norwegian, really dope looking card. In-game stats are over here. If we want to take a peek on Footbin, he's got 91 jumping, 94 strength, 92 sliding tackle. Aggression's a little low, uh, but his uh, agility is 99, balance 84. So that's very interesting. This card actually looks kind of good. So if you did the Shoji, this card looks decently solid to try out at least, just for fun, right? Maybe for a first owner La Liga side, if you're an objective grinder, check this guy out for sure. Uh, and yeah, crazy day on the market. Could be a crazy day today with content. We'll see what happens. New team of the week today as well. It doesn't look like it's going to be great, but you never know what's going to happen with EA. Last week doesn't wasn't looking great for team of the week, and we got a juiced one. So we'll see what happens with content today. More Champions League games, though. Come on, you Spurs. I'm rooting for my boys. We are down, but we're not out with all of our injuries. So should be a fun day of Champions League content. Hopefully, win a refresh SBC and all sorts of fun stuff on foot. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.